Our next nice person is described by those who know her well as tough, demanding, and even harsh. But those same people say that she's giving, unselfish, and wonderful. They're all talking about Doris Frank, a woman with a 15-year proven track record of performing near miracles and rehabilitating and motivating the handicapped. Tina Selden has the story of this Kansas City dynamo. It's really unfortunate that every community isn't blessed with someone like Doris Frank. She's a tough little lady with a heart as big as all outdoors. And she's changing the lives of Kansas City's handicapped by teaching them to swim. There is no charge. I don't get paid and my helpers don't get paid. Everything is volunteer. And this allows the handicapped people to go in for nothing. So everything is, is just a labor of love. These people are special and you, you get up for it every time you come swimming. Uh, you, you can't pick up a little baby and have her give you a big old toothless grin, you know, and, and a peck on the cheek or, and not have it hit home. I love them all and they know it. For 15 years, Doris has been pushing these people and sometimes seems a bit too harsh, but she has a plan and it's a plan that's working. Three cases in point. First, there's little Johnny Lundy, born with a spinal cord disorder called spina bifida. Her parents were told she would need serious surgery and would not develop normally. She's doing things that the doctors said that she would never do. They didn't think that she would ever do. They didn't know. From day one, they didn't really give us any hope that she would ever walk. She's a beautiful, beautiful baby. You just love her to death. She has a marvelous nature. She's learning to swim. And the swimming has uh, very possibly will enable her not to have to have the surgery. Next is Karen Rudd, a young school teacher who has had multiple sclerosis for seven years. Like I say, be sure you have everything to go home because we need to get these back tomorrow. Karen is a marvelously beautiful person and it, it tears me up to see her and know that it's all downhill. We can, what we can hope to do with the swimming is keep her on her plateaus longer, keep her legs and her arms from atrophying as fast, and maybe give the quality of her life more. She's so giving. I mean, she's just, you know, this is like her whole life, is to give to other people. She's just really, she's really a wonderful person. And finally, meet Jack Bigley a retired paraplegic who hadn't walked for 27 years, that is, until he met Doris Frank. When he started swimming with us, it's been quite a few years ago now, all we tried to do with Jack at first was to walk him in the water. Uh, the buoyancy of the water allowed him to do some things that uh, he couldn't do on land. And, and one of the things that he did, and I think you maybe witnessed it tonight, was walk without any assistance, and that's after 27 years, and so we're just elated with this. We think this is marvelous. The biggest thing is the most a person can do is give up themselves. With, as far as I can see, expecting little or nothing in return. Of course she has the satisfaction, the greatest thing of all, actually the satisfaction of knowing she's accomplishing something and doing something good. They make me feel good because every time they achieve something new, I, I've, I'm grateful because I think it's, it, it gives you a feeling of, of pride to watch them be able to find out that they can do something that they didn't know they could. I'd like, when I leave, to have left the place a little better and maybe made somebody have a chance at something that they should have had the right to have all along. And that, to me, is what it's all about. We'll have that plus a lot more on our next show. Until then, this is Marianne Laughlin, hoping you'll join us again for the stories of more nice people. Marianne Laughlin's wardrobe, courtesy of Lily Rubin, South and West.